Um, do you have a Jenna Tessar um, Carl Zeiss F2.8 version like this that's separated and you haven't marked where it goes together? Well, um, I'll show you how to get that back together. It's actually quite easy. It's probably easiest actually if you have this mounted right on your camera, but I'm using my camera right now. Um, but, so first of all, you want to know how far this should be screwed in. Um, so if you, so before you start, so let's just uh, see how far it is. Let's go in the wrong way. So you would start with it kind of, so you go all the way in, one time through, so the second time through. So this is kind of too far. So see the numbers coming here. So if you're going all, if it's all the way in, so go past infinity, um, focusing closer and then go past infinity one more time and then you're gonna aim this somewhere um, and you're first you're just gonna do a trial run I would say now I have a good idea that's gonna be around the three meter mark and then you just find the arrow on the top you line them up you gotta get it set it in there. It's actually, and then you just start focusing to infinity. It should grab right around there. Um, now, again, it's easier if this is just actually mounted on your camera because you can just hold the top part, and the bottom won't slide around. That. See if I can do it with it. There we go. It started in there. I don't know if it grabbed at the right spot. So this is the part where. Um, so the screw, the screw is out right now. That's why we're able to screw it all the way off and on. So this will stop. This, that screw will stop it from going past infinity there. No matter how you screw it together. So this is where the point where you'd want to put it on your camera, and so I'll show you that right now. Put it on the camera, and it should be focusing just slightly past infinity as you get there. So infinity should be there. Just you usually give a bit of extra wiggle room so that you can, um, in case there things expand and contract with temperature or whatever, that you still have infinity focus even in different conditions. So it'll be just slightly shy of infinity you just focus put it on your camera you'll look at something far away and you just make sure it's in focus and then if it is um too far like if you have to if this goes way past um, infinity then what you want to do is when you first screen it on is you would figure out how much so if infinity ends up being over here well, that just means that that little distance that you have between your infinity marker and your red arrow is how much you need to start over to that direction when you start screwing it on. And that's it. So you can just do it. It usually takes maybe a couple tries to get it so it's exactly where you want it. If you measure really well the first time how far off of infinity it actually is, then it goes a lot faster. So we'll test this one out and see if that's good. So this is uh, now with the lens on the camera and I and with the focus assist on and I would focus on something in, on infinity and now I would just bring it in a little bit and you can see things coming into focus far away um, in the distance and that is pretty good. Um, it says 15 meters right now and you can see that stuff about 15 meters is kind of across the street is in focus but what you'd want to do is crop in on something really far away those trees way ahead and you'd see them come into focus just right about there and so uh, 
that's it. So that's good. Now, if it was um, not close enough, then you just pull it apart and just start that distance over.